Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today we're going to be working on part 10 of how to make a Discord bot. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an admin pay command. This will allow you, the bot creator, to give or remove any amount of currency from one of the users using your bot. Check this. This episode is going to be super simple because all we have to do is copy most of our pay command over to a new file. So let's go ahead and right click commands, new file, and type adminpay.js. Then we're going to go ahead and go to our pay command and copy everything over. Now we can get rid of our pay command for now and we're going to go through this. First we're going to add admin to the name. And then we're going to work our way through this code and change stuff so that it works only for um, you, the bot creator. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an align which will check if the person using the command is you, the bot creator. So we're going to do um, if message.author.id does not equal, and then we need some quotes here, and we need to get an ID, your ID number. So to do that, we need to go to Discord. And we're going to open up user settings, go to appearance, scroll down and make sure developer mode is on. This will then allow you to right click on your name and copy ID. We want that ID. Then we can head back to our code and paste your ID in here. So if message.author.id does not equal this ID, then we can return a message. So message.reply, you cannot use this command. It's as simple as that. So now nobody else can use this command but you. Next up we need to change a few things. So first off, user can stay the same. Our args1 can stay the same. But we don't want to make it so that we can't use negative numbers. Because obviously if we want to be able to remove money from someone's account, we want to be able to use negative numbers. So if it's less than one, we want to get rid of this line of code. We don't want that. So the other thing we don't want to do is we don't want to check whether or not we have that much money, obviously, because we're the bot creator. We, we should be able to admin pay as much as we want. So we're going to get rid of this line here that checks whether if we have enough money or not. So we're going to get rid of that. And then when we uh, pay the money, we need to make sure it's not taking money away from us. And actually, one thing we're going to quickly do is just change our message down here to say we admin paid um, that much to that user. Um, so now we need to just make sure that we're not removing money from our account. So uh, message.author.id, we do not want to remove money here. And we do not want to remove money here. So after a few minutes of looking over the code, we do need to remove this line here because that is also making sure we have a money account when we don't really need a money account to admin pay people so we're going to get rid of that and then we are also uh, I noticed an issue with our pay command from a previous uh, tutorial so we're going to go ahead and fix that right now as well if we head on over to our pay command up by these if statements we don't have one that checks if we're trying to pay ourselves. we don't want to try and pay ourselves. so if user.id equals message.author.id then we want to return a message saying we can't pay ourselves. It didn't really affect anything like they couldn't like cheat a bunch of money or anything but it was just kind of weird that you could pay yourself. So now that that's there, we do not need this line of code for our admin pay because we might want to admin pay ourselves money for testing purposes. So we're not going to put that in our admin pay file. Um, we're going to go ahead and run our terminal now. Type node dot to run our bot. And make sure both of these commands work now. So we're going to try and pay at ourself. Let's try and pay ourself 100. And it's going to say you cannot pay yourself. Now if we go ahead and try admin pay, <clears throat> and admin pay ourselves a thousand 
you know, I don't even know how to use my own bot. Let's go ahead and try that again, except make sure we at ourselves <laughs> and type in the amount we want. So then it says we admin paid 1000 to Sethi. So if we go ahead and check our balance one more time and our prefix did not work, uh, we have 201,000 versus before we had 200,000. So it worked. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe for more bot tutorials, and I'll catch you guys later.